Welcome back guys to part 2 of the Mecha Robot for my best bits. So I hope you're now all up to date with having the body done. Just the basic shape of the body. If you're not, then check out part 1 of the my best bits video. So if I come here now, as I said at the end of the last video, I shall be working on the arm which you can see here is just a basic cylinder shape. The arms are the same for both right and left arm. The only difference is the hand at the end, as one has a gun turret, whilst the other has the lobster claw. So I shall now show you how to make that. So if I go into cylinders, so if I just create a polygon cylinder, and there's a lot of geometry in the polygon cylinder there, so if I just come to poly cylinder 1 and just reduce the subdivisions as it doesn't need to be that many, I find I'll just reduce it to 10. Because I'll be smoothing it after anyway, with the... Yeah, I'll be smoothing it. So if I just then enlarge it, just scale it up, to the right size and then if I just move it to be in line with that I right click come vertex move those vertexes up to give me the first piece I'm then going to go and select face I'll select all those faces then I'll hold shift and deselect those faces just so I've got the bottom faces selected. I'll then hit the extrude tool and it's probably best if I have a look at this through perspective mode. If I just hit the box and then as you can see inside the middle square changes from what would be just a box, like so. So it starts off just as a square. If I hit this box here, it turns into a box. And then I can scale it in about like, let's say about like that. I then hit extrude again, where if I go back into the side view mode, I can X. I can extrude downwards. Now as you can see I haven't quite lined that up but it's not a big issue. This is just literally just an, uh, the image plane is just there to help you. It doesn't matter if they don't perfectly match. So yeah I've now got that which I can then extrude those faces again hit the square to get the box and pull it out and then extrude again. For those of you that want to know, there's actually a shortcut key for doing repeating the last tool, which that key is actually G. So if I just again select those faces deselect them and hit G and then like before I've got to scale it in hit G again and pull it down just follow it down and finally extrude again for the last part of the arm and pull it down. So that's one way of doing it. So if we go into object mode and I show you what it looks like over in perspective mode, that's what your arm would look like at the moment. Again, I can just come here and increase. Sorry, I say, so yeah, sorry that. Maya went a little bit glitchy. Let me just check the interior geometry. 
Yeah, the interior geometry seems fine. I'm just going to go vertex mode, select all the vertexes, and then hit this button here, which is the merge vertices button. That'll just make sure there's no uh, unmerged vertices, like mer vertices not attached to anything. So there you go, you've got the first part of the arm, which in the front view is not lined up. So if I just move that across, so there's the first part of the arm, which obviously is good, but my arm that I've designed is actually a special arm, which has hydraulics in it to make it extend smaller and shorter as it's moving. So the way we shall go ahead with the hydraulics is if we go face mode, select the top faces, and again, deselect those faces just to have the top selected. We're going to extrude once again, hit one of the boxes, extrude inwards to make it smaller, hit extrude again, and extrude right down maybe about halfway. So I've got that, and then I'm going to create a quick cylinder, just once again, cylinder, create it there. Again, we just want to lower it to 10 subdivisions, and we shall scale this one to make it smaller than the interior square. And then we'll scale it up like so. If I just make it vertex mode, zoom in, select the vertexes. It's just quicker if I move the vertexes rather than scaling. And then once again, just move the vertexes, and then come in, select object mode, go into side front view, and oops, my bad, I selected all by mistake. Select object mode, front view, and just drag that across. Now, as you can see here. I've got my arm in position with the I've got my arm in position with hydraulics to control it so it would move up and down like that on the arm to allow the arm to extend. So there you have the first part of the arm. Now we want to do the little box, the little rectangular bit there, which is just literally a cube. And then scale the cube. So we'll select vertex, select those vertexes. Hit W to select the move tool. Move them in like so. and then come into side view where we shall position them once again and then obviously I want to come here and add the next one going sideways so I come inside you and add another uh, cube, which I will then shape to fit their object over there. And then I've got to select the whole object inside view. And once again, I'm going to just shape it like so. 
After I've done that, I've just got that bolt in the middle, which again can just be a pure sphere. So if I make the sphere like that, again, lower it to 10 subdivisions, come to the rotate tool, rotate it down. And if I go into the channel mode, I can actually see the rotation and set it to rotate 90 degrees. I can then scale it down to fit the size of the bolt and then I can move it into position like so and then now if you come and look at the arm it looks a little something like that so you've got the arm with the bolt to hold it together just as you can see that's not quite straight so I can straighten that up maybe scale it up a little bit and possibly drag it out a little bit so that's the basics of the arm then you just have to do another sphere like before grab your sphere, place it make it to 10 divisions rotate the sphere 90 degrees just like that come into that view again and select 90 degrees go vertex mode select the vertexes Go to the move tool and just shape it, just push it into or push into the arm like that. Then select it all and just position it where you want it. And then there you go. You have, forgetting about the hand, you just have the basic shape for your arm of your mecha robot as you can see right there so I, but what you don't realize is it's not actually in line with the body because in the side view you don't have the arm on top of the body otherwise it covers up other parts of the object so if you select it all and just move it along just to get a look at what it looks like attached to the body there you go, you have a mecha robot with an arm. So that's it for the part two of the arm for the mecha robot. Thank you and goodbye.